Good job. <laughs> Not actually <especially> Madison. <laughs> We are back on the Morning Brew with Friends, and Matt Rader is on with us. He's the operations director for Albuquerque, the magazine. And you brought the new issue. We did. Very brand spanking new. All shiny and still wet from the presses. Maybe, maybe take a little feel on that. Yes, See if this you is, uh, notice this anything has, different. It's got, it's not a glossy cover. That's right. It's, it's a soft touch. It's, it's kind of nice. I yeah. like that. And then the I pages like inside also yeah. um, have no gloss on them. They, so, it's very yeah. interesting. Oh, and I opened it up to one of my favorite little restaurants. Ah, this is great. Which one is that one? Oh, yeah, okay. Yes. From our foreign-born chefs. Right. So uh, this this month, the uh, magazine took a chance to uh, meet all the chefs in Albuquerque that were not born here. Yeah, and, and, and I don't want to say them. all of them, but right. we, we reached out to a number of them, and, you know, they brought their flavors with them, and we wanted to kind of talk to them and see what their story is. And, mm -hmm. and yeah, it's, it's all about the foreign-born chefs that... that came from other countries and brought their flavors to Albuquerque and the I Albuquerqueans love it. are enjoying yeah. I love it. So who, who did you guys talk to? We talked to a bunch of people, probably eight to ten of them. Like I said, mm -hmm. I don't want to say that we did all of them. Right. Uh, but we spoke with um, the owner of Flames. You know, I haven't been sites. there yet. I've seen it driven by it. And it's Flames with a Z. That's right. And I've been curious about what it is. It's a bistro. It's a bistro, but it's a burger bistro. Ah. And the owner's name is Salim Khoury. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, he's from Jerusalem and he's working on an American staple, which That's I think awesome. is, you know, super unique. Right. You come out to another country and you tackle that country's primary food or, or one of right. the main foods. And That's a challenge. He's, he's doing a good job. That's cool. He's doing a really great job. Very so, cool. Uh, yeah, lots of, lots of, they have different salads that incorporate the ground beef and, and amazing hamburgers, of course. But yeah, mm -hmm. he's doing a good job. Uh, we talked to um, the chef behind um, La Quiche Parisian mm -hmm. that recently moved from downtown up into the northeast side right. about a year ago, I guess. Right. Um, Odalis Gar Garza from uh, Poyito con Papas. I haven't who been is there yet either. Interesting story. She's Peruvian, but she's cooking. Oh, I'm sorry, she's Cuban, but she's cooking Peruvian food. That's interesting. So, yeah, and well, working Poyito on Poyito con Papas, I'm guessing, what is that? Chicken and Chicken and potatoes. potatoes. Yep. Sounds perfect Chicken to me. Chicken and potatoes, yeah. So lots of great information in there. Lots of stuff that I didn't even know about. So, right. Yeah. And of course, this is the annual hot plate. Issue. Is. This is where the magazine gives awards to the, basically the hottest dishes right. in Albuquerque, right. right? Yeah, so it's kind of an editor's pick style that we go through, and we have 15 different uh, dishes from Albuquerque area restaurants, everything from uh, milkshakes to pizza, uh, huevos rancheros, um, even places where you can go to take cooking classes, mm -hmm. um, and you can kind of create your own amazing dish at home. I love it. Yeah. And of course, on the cover is the pozole from El Modelo, oh my gosh. which is always one of me? the best, Are right? You me? Although I'm more a fan of the El Modelo tamales, but that's... Well, you put the, you get the tamales, and then maybe you put some of the pozole on top right. of it, or, just or cut it up and drop um, On the side, there's a million. Yeah. Everything there is so good. Right. So very good. But the no pozole doubt. is on the cover, and it is certainly amazing. Very yeah. cool. And then there's a lot more in this issue this month. What are some yeah. of your favorite features? Um, well, they're, they're all fantastic, but we also um, sat down and reached out to all of the different restaurants in town and tried to figure out what are the most popular dishes mm. at their restaurants. So we reached out to almost 40 different restaurants wow. um, and just talked to the, the chefs and the owners of those restaurants, just kind of get an idea of when Albuquerqueans are going in there, what they're ordering. Right. So, what, what is the most popular dish? Right, from, from all of the different restaurants that we spoke to. So, and yeah. what, is, was there one that stood out? Like, everybody goes to the French and you always order the Frontier Burrito. Right. Is, was there, what were some of the ones that you just knew were like, this is going to be a Albuquerque staple? Uh, you know, I think they're all probably amazing, and, and mm -hmm. they're popular for different reasons. One of the things that surprised me um, was at Vintage 423, their mm -hmm. most popular dish is the Chilean sea bass. And I, I would have expected it to be a steak there. That's exactly right, what I was thinking. Right? That's exactly what I was thinking. So I was, I was kind of intrigued by that, and now I really want to go out and try it. Right. One of my favorites, I grew up on it. I'm from the Valencia County area, but we um, have Tio Filos in there. Mm, oh, um, yeah. And they have an amazing rayano combination, so they're also um. included in there. But there's, there's too many to, to count, and I don't want to right. upset anybody right. whose name I don't mention, but they're, right. they're all fantastic dishes, um, and we're really excited about them. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. And then the, I think the magazine is packed this month. And then, of is. course, coming up is the Hot Singles nomination. Yeah, well, the, and we're actually in the nomination period now. Right. The so if you know somebody, if you know somebody who should be in, what's the first thing you have to make sure of? you got to be single. How you got to be single. Like, how many times did people call up the magazine and say, I want to be a hot single, and they're just not single? There are those stories. So mm -hmm. there are... There, we're trying to avoid those this year. So right. there's two requirements. One, 
100%, I'm gonna look into the camera, 100% single. All single, all single. All single. All you cannot, single. you cannot have a friend with benefits. Right. You cannot have a significantly significant person. Right. You have to be full on single. on Tinder. That's not, right. <laughs> like you don't have to be on Tinder, <laughs> but yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Somewhere where like you can say this is this person has nobody in the world and right. they are looking for exactly. somebody. And the other requirement is just that you're 25 years old. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. The um, yeah, I'm sure there are a lot of people who call who try to nominate people who are like. Matt may not be fully right, 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 and you can also nominate yourself. That happens quite a bit. So, right, yeah, and we're taking nominations at ebqthemag.com. That makes it easy. Yeah, that yeah. makes it super easy. And yeah. do you see Curious George back there? I did. I'm very excited to actually meet Curious George right? and get a chance to to talk to Curious George. I, I can't do call, wait. Do you call him Curious? Mr. I, I'm George? gonna call him Mr. George. I Show think. the respect that he's due, right? Too, right? Absolutely. So, yeah. And the man in the yellow hat is with him. Oh, that's even better. that's even better. <laughs> Yeah, that's great. So we'll be back in a couple of seconds on the Morning Brew with Friends.